In this lesson, we'll see how to create and configure a Big IP VE on VMware using Big IQ centralized management and declarative onboarding, part of the F5 automation toolchain. Before beginning, please be aware of these prerequisites. First, create a new cloud provider. In our example, we'll select VMware from the list of available provider types. Now create a cloud environment. As indicated, we'll leave device template in its default setting of none. Select the cloud provider created earlier, which reveals VMware properties below. Required fields are highlighted in yellow, but depending on your configuration, you may use additional fields as well. Enter vSphere username and password information. VM image refers to a VMware template of the big IP that must be previously created in the VMware environment. See the description field beneath this video player for details. We need to map three network interfaces, VM network, external VLAN, and internal VLAN. With cloud provider and environments configured, create a VE creation task. Name the task and VE, then select the cloud environment created earlier. Note that the maximum number of VEs you can create is five. We'll use two for our deployment. In production, this will take several minutes, so we'll fast forward to when configuration is complete. Here are our IP addresses. Let's monitor the build process in vSphere. These are the various available big IP templates. Here are our two VEs. Click here to view the IP addresses for each VE. Notice they match the IP addresses from Big IQ. Let's test it by accessing Big IP using one of these IP addresses. Before we check the status of the VEs, let's ensure that our license pool is valid and available. Our pool is ready and in our example has 48 available licenses. Here are the two VEs we created. You can onboard a standalone VE or, by selecting multiple VEs, a cluster. Onboarding performs a detailed Big IP configuration as if you were logged into the Big IP management console. In our example, we'll onboard a single VE. Name the task, then enter device information. Notice that if you hover over a field name, Big IQ displays information about that field. This is the default password set in the VM image. Enter the FQDN for your VE. We'll select the following onboard classes for our example. These classes are used only for clusters. With the classes selected for the declarative onboarding task, scroll down to configure each one. Please note that our example selections may differ from what you select in production. Hover over field names for details or click the question mark in the upper right for help. These fields are used only for clusters. Notice that hovering over name fields does not reveal additional information. These name fields are actually labels that aren't tied to the actual names of the class, as in this case, the license, so you can define the name fields to whatever parameters you like.
Here's the pool we have already determined is available. Select modules that you want provisioned on the Big IP. Application Visibility and Reporting, or AVR, is required to gather analytics data. Enter your time zone in a valid time zone database format. Remember that this name field is just a label and doesn't need to match the actual system username. Note that Big IP requires a complicated password at least six characters long, ideally with numbers and special characters as a security best practice. Dictionary words are not allowed. A bad password will cause an error during deployment. Let's add an admin user. We'll need an internal and external VLAN. Now enter self-IPs for those VLANs. Don't forget the mask for both self-IPs, otherwise deployment will fail. Before clicking on board, you can view the JSON declaration. This can be used in pipeline automation tasks. Click Big IP Onboarding Grid to see its progress, which in production takes several minutes to complete. Let's access the IP address of the device from the onboard process. Notice that our Big IP is managed by Big IQ. Here are the internal and external self-IPs we defined with the deployment. Notice that one out of 48 available licenses has been assigned. RVE has been automatically discovered and imported into the Big IP Devices list and is ready to have application services deployed to it. For more information about Big IQ features, including automation toolchain integrations, see Learn F5, your hub for learning and training resources, f5.com, or search this YouTube channel.